So here's the final render. Let's jump right to compositing and see how this whole thing works. Uh, first of all, this whole part, I added sort of a mask, but we won't need this. Let's open up the glow. Let's take a node viewer and see what's going on because I haven't seen this in a while. So, okay, so first of all, we are isolating the filament because this is where our glow will start. Uh, so I see that there's some uh, artifacts here. So this will also be amplified quite a bit as we go down the node network. But let's see what's going on here. Okay, uh, so first of all, we're isolating this and then we are also doing the same here, but we're taking more elements. Uh, I'm wondering if this is actually useful because as you, as you keep working, you tend to forget what's happening before, especially if you add lots of elements, but that's fine. So we're splitting the network into two branches. The upper branch is for the inner uh, filament and the lower branches for some extra punch to the glow. Uh, so we're then blurring this upper filament and normalizing it because if you take a look down in the lower right corner of this sector, if I click, you get the value. So towards the center, we have a value of about two or so, uh, which is a bit too much. So we're, we're normalizing it, which means we're bringing it between zero and one. It's a bit duller, but uh, no value on the render goes beyond one at this point. And then we'll add some glare. Uh, this will be pretty intense, I think. We're using streaks here. This sort of creates a first layer of glare and we then uh, increase the brightness a little bit. The second branch, we're doing pretty much the same. We're just blurring a little more and we're uh, normalizing after the glare. And then we make it a little brighter and we have our second um, part of the node. We add them together. So we obtain a final first pass of the glare. This will be added to our image. Uh, but not as is. I think I uh, toned it down a little bit. Okay, so we're out of this node now. Uh, we are adding this node with a factor of 0.45. So actually not all of this, but about 50%, a bit less. So what we have now, we can have a new viewer here so we see what's going on. Okay, so we're adding the final result. So we already have a pretty interesting effect. And uh, then we take the blurred version and then we mix them together. So we have a slightly blurred version mixed with the final render, 15%. And then um, we will have our final correction. I made it a little darker in the dark parts. And we have our final render. Overall, I think it's pretty decent. Uh, the lower part is perhaps a bit too reflective and the inner holder is a little too dull for my, for my taste. I had to add a bit of diffuse, uh, a bit of a diffuse component because otherwise these uh, reflections wouldn't uh, be visible at all. And you want to have, of course, anything that's very close to a bright uh, light source, you have to have some reflections. Uh, also an important part in the render, uh, in the sampling tab, uh, I clamped the maximum value to 25. If you don't, you'll have bright spots all over the place. And uh, also the higher you go with the clamp value, the more realistic you get because you have these very bright reflections and uh, transmissions inside of the glass. But uh, if you overdo it, you'll need really lots of samples to uh, merge them well together in the in the final render uh, it's also a bit noisy uh, i i use the final uh, preset here so it has a total of 576 anti-aliased samples 
uh, you can bring this up to even 40 or 50 perhaps but it will take of course much longer this one took about seven minutes and a half all right so this is all thanks for watching and if you have any questions or would uh, like me to cover a bit more in detail some parts of this uh, of this overview just drop a message uh, and i'll see what i can do